but we have to make sure that it will end Ukrainians win. I don't think that there's any other choice. If Russia would win the war, then we would only see decades of this kind of behavior in head of us. I think other countries are looking very closely what is happening now in Ukraine. And if Russia would win, then it would send a message that you can uh, invade another country, you can attack another country and you can gain from that land, territory or, or other uh, things, natural resources or, or other things. And we have to send a message that is opposite, that Russia will lose. It will lose the war. Ukraine will push Russia back Finish uh, PM to its own Santa territory, Martin. and that also means that the devils it with means Davos. That, that Ukraine will be whole again, and we together have to make sure that this will become reality. But there isn't a gain of attacking another country, and we have to, of course, stand. These are the clowns the at the WEF. Well. <laughs> so that would. All right, that's uh, the devils in Davos. Uh, all of them uh, who are worried about climate change all flew in on their thousand private jets uh, burning more fuel than probably the entire United States will burn in the next year. So uh, that's your devils at Davos. Uh, thank God for them, right? Uh, so, uh, you know, I, I'm going to just start the video. Why don't you leave a comment below? What do you think the devils at Davos are going to do when Ukraine, uh, when it's apparent that Ukraine has lost the war? Um, what do you think? I mean, do you think that uh, we're going to send in the, and, the woke 101st Airborne Division from Poland and that uh, Poland's going to come across and uh, Refortify Ukraine. Uh, seems to me they're doubling down. I I don't see any sort of peace. Uh, uh, no peace. Remember that in uh, Independence Day. There can be no peace. Okay, I just wanted to give you the latest numbers. Um, and this is depression. I don't take any joy in doing this, but I just feel like you need to understand what's going on in the world. Uh, so the um, the latest uh, numbers are there's. Uh, Ukraine has lost 122,000 dead confirmed. That is confirmed by multiple sources. Uh, there are 35,000 uh, Ukrainians presumed dead and missing. In addition to that, uh, so, and then of course, in addition to those numbers, you have, uh, so that, that, that combined, that's 157,000 dead Ukrainians. Uh, thank God for the devils in Davos. Yes, NATO, you're fighting, you're winning the war. Uh, so there's 300,000 casualties in addition to the number of dead. So that basically eviscerates the original uh, forces of Ukraine that uh, they started the war with. Uh, they are doing conscription at this moment, and conscripted troops are nowhere near as effective as uh, hardened, trained combat soldiers. Uh, so we're seeing the destruction of the uh, Ukrainian army, uh, the total destruction of the Ukrainian army. Uh, Probably within the next month or two would be my guess. Uh, we'll see. Um, the um, so this was a number that I found interesting. That about one Russian is dying for every eight Ukrainians. That's the that's the ratio. Um, and uh, I don't know what the, I wrote down. Sixteen to twenty dead Russians. I, I don't know what that was about. Um, so Ukraine is uh, staring annihilation in the face, in the face. Uh, so, uh, you know, my uh, videos don't always have to be all about doom and gloom. Uh, I got a new symbol for you. I think this is called BlackRock Gold uh, Corporation or BlackRock Gold Mining. Uh, it's BKRRF. BKRRF. I took a position in that. Uh, um, that's another uh, speculative uh, mining stock. Uh, there was some good news that they'd hit some um, some uh, some things uh, that. Uh, by the way, uh, just just to, to reiterate, yesterday uh, you had uh, Goldman Sachs. Uh, they took the market down by 379 points yesterday. Um, so the, because their earnings are in uh, worst earnings in a decade. Uh, so that's uh, bad for Goldman Sachs. Goldman Sachs, hope you don't have any money invested in that stuff. If you're in mutual funds, I'm sure you own Goldman Sachs. I've been telling you that uh, you need to redeploy those funds. Uh, that's just my opinion. This isn't financial advice. This is not financial advice on YouTube. You are not allowed to give financial advice. I'm just telling you what I'm doing, okay? Uh, we talked about the 1,000 jets. Uh, by the way, this is good news, but at the same time, uh, I'm still paying more than I was uh, about three weeks ago. So silver premiums are way down, but the spot price is up. So overall, uh, the price that I can get silver at is $2 more than what I was buying it for uh, 
two or three weeks ago. So I'm still out of the um, precious metals. I'm not going to be buying any more. Um, but if you're not into precious metals, this might be your last opportunity to get it because the, um, the COMEX is just about, from what I understand, the COMEX and the LBMA, COMEX being the uh, U.S. and the LBMA being London, uh, those, uh, you know, they've been used to manipulate the precious metals markets for many, many years, uh, but they're being drained. Uh, there's just not that much left on those, and I wonder what's going to happen when they run out of silver and gold. Because uh, then, what are they going to, how are they going to manipulate the market when you, when you can't say you've got this much silver for every, you know, 100 paper contracts or whatever it is, uh, you can't base the paper on anything anymore. So uh, that's going to be very interesting. Um, 330 million tons uh, were delivered uh, in, in, of gold that was delivered off of the COMEX. Uh, nine, nine and a half million ounces of silver was delivered. Uh, India took uh, 300 million ounces off the, uh, off the COMEX. Uh, so uh, you can see that uh, things are going to be coming to a, um, a tipping point uh, in the precious metals market. Uh, well, with prob I don't know. I mean, you know, I, I, I've been saying it for since 2000. <laughs> so, so don't listen to me. I don't know what I'm talking about. But it just seems to me that things are going to be coming to a head, uh, at least in 2023, uh, if not in the coming months. So that's all the news I've got for you today. Be sure and leave a comment. What do you think NATO is going to do when uh, they... Uh, come to the conclusion that uh, Ukraine can't win the war. What do you think? Are we going to send in uh, NATO troops? Well, the NATO troops are already there, uh, just uh, supposedly in an advisory role. And then, of course, we had a lot of mercenaries on the ground. But from what I understand, the NATO mercenaries have pulled out for the most part. They realized it was a losing cause and decided to save their lives, for, at least off of the front lines. I don't know what's, what's in, held in reserve. They might have just moved to the reserve elements of the Ukrainian uh, forces. So anyway... Um, but I, I just want your opinion. What do you think NATO is going to do? Uh, we're going to go in uh, whole hog, uh, send in U.S. troops, send in NATO troops. Are the Germans going to join us? Uh, Poland's going to go in with their military, and we're all going to take on Russia. Uh, I just want your opinion. Peace out, stay free, and it's good, 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 good to live in the free, free, free Republican state. Oh, yeah, the other piece of news. I forgot. This one blew my mind. So the Biden administration says they will not negotiate with Congress on the budget, even though we are now $32 trillion in debt. So, you know, I wonder if you're, if you're, I know that there are probably no Democrats that watch my channel, uh, but if you are a Democrat and you watch this channel, what do you think's going to happen, you know, when, when the dollar is, is toilet paper? I mean, when you, you keep spending uh, currency, it's not money, that you don't have, uh, you know, you're either going to experience hyperinflation, uh, which will take the dollar down to zero, which, by the way, I mean, that's that's the other news. You know that the world's de-dollarizing. Uh, Russia no longer, uh, I don't believe they hold any American currency. Uh, China has divested themselves for the most part of American currency. Uh, India is divesting themselves of American currency. Even Japan is selling off their treasury. So what's going to happen when the whole world doesn't want a, the, our dollars anymore? What do you think? Uh, if you're a Democrat, let me know. What what? How do you rational, uh, what's your rational thought on the $1.7 trillion uh, uh, spending fiasco that just got passed and some Republicans voted for it, so I can't say it's all Democrats. But, uh, you know, how do, how do you think that this, uh, this balloon is going to keep uh, inflating? I, I, I don't see how it, it, it continues, but uh, then we've been doing it for, well, since the 70s, I guess, uh, when you think about it, uh, when we went off the gold standard, uh, you know, Nixon took us off, so... We've, uh, we've been able to, to, to mushroom, but the thing is, it's exploded. I mean, in the Bush years, I thought we were going to go bankrupt because we were billions of dollars in debt. Now we're $32 trillion in debt, so I don't know. You tell me. Good to live under the great leadership of DeSanctimonious.